Hey guys, welcome to Inferno's Maze. Mm, this is probably one of the, m the most difficult dungeons. So, I'm gonna try to help you. Oh. Okay. So, mm, of course, this is a dungeon with much lava and fire and everything. Um, let's go this way first. You can push these blocks. And then walk under this platform to go there. And take the stairs. The three lights show the way to the fall. So you should probably remember that. It will be useful very soon. Smokey! And let's go back. So yes, it is a very difficult dungeon because it's very easy to get lost or to do the wrong thing. And if you do if you do the wrong thing, you you usually have to to do all the work all the way um, again. Okay, then this way. Uh, use use your feather of course be careful with those guys otherwise they will they will push you into lava like this <laughs> And this red guy takes forever to get killed. Okay, um, the lamp. You found the map. So the map, Inferno's maze, with four floors and a lot, a lot, lots of stairs. Oops. Okay, what do we have here? You have a chest that you cannot get so far. But remember the thing with the three three torches. One th the three lights. Two and three. They indicate um the place of the fall or something like that so put a bomb like this between the three lights and ta -da! and you're here so this way you can get to the second floor and this is the, be the beginning of um, of a way that you will have to do and do several times. But as, when you will have the when you have the um, golden gloves, and you can lift those black stones. Um, you will be able to traverse the dungeon much much faster thanks to this kind of, so of shortcuts but before that of course we have some work to do
Okay, new hint. Do not fall, but jump. And close the path behind you. Mm, these teletransporters are just for nothing. You just have to use your, your feather, like this, and get to the stairs. Okay, and in this room, go this way, to the right. Um, these two stairs are useless, I think, <laughs> if I remember correctly. And this one is useful. Um, okay, because the two other ones are just linked, like this. And the teletransporter, um, which is here, just takes you back to the beginning of uh, this second floor. Okay. So, here is, here is um, the thing. Do not fall, but jump. Ta-da! And then you have changed the, the crystal switch. Um, and close the path behind you. This will be useful just later. For now, let's go this way. And let's wait forever on those stupid arrows. Okay. Third floor. And a room full of lava. Very dangerous. Mm. The best option is not to kill this guy. <laughs> Um, we have to fall this way because in if you fall in this hole, you are just uh, you, you get uh, back to the the second floor somewhere, a place uh, that you already know actually. And small key. Then to get back, you have to use a bomb. This is the, the only way to activate the switch. And actually, you have to use a second one. Like this. Okay. For now, there is not that much that we can do in this room, except light those torches and open this door. But right now, um, there is no way to change the crystal switches and uh, still be able to get to this room. Um, so, let's just do this. And let's get back to the second floor. Mm, maybe the best option is to take this hole. I think. Yes, exactly. Fantastic! Okay. Uh, so. Uh, do not fall but jump and close the path behind you. This means put a bomb so that the switches um, yes so that the blue switches are lowered okay?
and we have activated a chest, but mm, there is no rush because it's just the compass. So when you are here, um, you don't have a choice. And when you are here, this, these are actually three holes. Okay, this one, this one in the middle, and this one. Yes, it's very tricky. <laughs> Um, you just have to take the top one. Always, 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 always. This leads you to the middle stairs. And to the middle stairs again. And you are here. We are in a new part of the, of the third floor. For now, we are, we are stuck in this room but we will come back later. Okay. If you come here um, with the, uh, the reverse configuration of, of the blue and orange blocks, you can pass without spending a small key, but you are stuck later. So we, we re you really want to do this. Okay. And by the way, please don't fall in those holes. They just take you back to the beginning. Uh, okay, so now it's interesting because we are here. We are in this room that you already know, but this time the configuration of the blocks, of the blue and orange blocks, is correct because you can get there. Oh, it's locked. Did I forget something? Oh yes, sorry. Hmm. I tried to do the dungeon too fast. So, um, okay. I forgot a small key. So let's go back. I think it's this way or this way. Let's try this way. Yes, okay. So the first thing you want to do is take taking that chest. Small key. But then you don't have a choice because you're stuck here. We we can't go back up. So let's take the teletransporter. Okay. And do the same way again. Take the compass. I thought we didn't have to do this, but we do because of the small key. Every time you make this this way, um, you can take everything in those under those uh, skulls. You have some hearts, rupees, uh, magic, and everything. Okay. So, always the same thing. thing. Jump. Put a bomb, and then fall um, from the top, the topmost hole. And this time I have the small key. Mm, here is a trick to not fall into the holes, or at least uh, <laughs> less often. Remem you have to remember that um, the it's the the shadow of Link that counts. 
This means that I can I can go so close to the hole and I don't fall because um, the shadow of Link is is still not on uh, the hole. Okay, it's hard to explain, but. Okay. And maybe um, a more useful trick is to being is to be stopped stopped when you use the feather. You don't have to. I mean, you don't have to do this. You can just uh, be stopped and press. The, f the key, okay? And it's much easier um, to avoid falling. <laughs> Alright, so we need now the big key or the large key. Great! The large key! You can now open special doors and find new treasures, but we are stuck <laughs> because of um, the crystal switch. So let's do the the. Um, <laughs> Let's do all of this one more time. Uh, okay. As usual, we use a bomb and fall into the top hole. I want my feather, okay. I almost fell. This is dangerous. Okay, let's use the large key. We are on the last floor now. Let's still not fall. This piece of heart is very easy to get. Extra heart, nice. And to open this door, um, just have to note that there is an invisible switch, an invisible button just below me right now. So if you are on this side, go to the button and go back. That's all. Oh, danger! Oops! So I'm sorry, we didn't, didn't have time to make a very nice mini-boss. So, we made mummies instead. <laughs> Oops. Why am I st um, always using the feather? And these mummies are hard to kill because they they are not pushed away when you hit them with your sword. Oops. So yes, uh, re real minibuses only exist in the first three dungeons of the game. But the bosses are just 
getting uh, more and more epic in each dungeon. Don't you want to die? Okay. You found the golden gloves! Now we can lift black rocks. So let's lift black rocks. Okay, what do we do now? We need a small key to get here. And we, we will also need the... Uh, the boss key, of course. So let's just fall. But first, take the magic. Now I need to get back to the um, second floor, or the first floor. Mm, yes, this way it should work. It should work. Great. Mm, okay. This is the, the, the entrance of the dungeon. <laughs> In case you are lost. <laughs> the boss key and if you look at your map uh, there is another another chest another remaining chest it's a small key that we also need now you have a shortcut from the beginning of the dungeon you come here, lift the rock, and you are immediately here. And just here you have a much better shortcut. Because we are immediately here. Okay, jump! And as always, Put a bomb. And as always, fall into the top hole. And the last chest is here, in this room. But you need the blue blocks. Um, to be uh, lowered. Small key! Yay! So now let's go to the boss. Um, how can we do that? Uh, I think the fastest way is this way. And this way. No, I don't even kill you. You don't deserve it. Room. Hello, you. <laughs> so this this one is not easy. You have to, of course, avoid um, the flames. Get rid of these small enemies. And wait for black rocks to appear. And when a black rock appear appears. Um, you have to throw it onto 
one of his two heads. But I recommend you to always hit the same head at first until it's dead. Because when there is only one um, head remaining, you have. Uh, it's much easier to uh, avoid the, the flames, of course, because. Oops! Because there are less flames if one head is killed. Two hits, if I remember correctly. Each head needs four hits. And I'm almost dead. If you need a, a peaceful place <laughs> to stay, um, here is a good one. You're safe here. But it's, it's not very useful because um, black rocks will not appear so close to you. Okay, I have two fairies and one magic bottle with red potion. So I should be fine. Ah! And wh when you are hurt and close to death, <laughs> oops, the small enemies always give you a heart. But only if you are close to death. Heart. I mean, if you are not close to death, um, you can still have hearts, but it's random. Okay, first head killed. I want black rocks, please! No! Yes! One more time, I guess. And now we just wait for the next black rock. I want this heart. Oh, so it's a bug. Is a boomerang. Oh, one more time. No, no, no. Die! Yes! And how can you get the to the heart container? Um, take your uh, boomerang or your hookshot, and ta -da! la 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 you saved my life. You have gone through a lengthy journey and overcome many ordeals since we last met. But I need to confess some serious facts. Our king's death was not ex accidental. I poisoned him. I was under Aghanim's control. 
he cast a spell on me and I lost my free will. There is nothing I could do. When the spell broke, I realized what had, hap what ha what had happened. Thus, I decided, I decided to retire to the cave where we, we first met. This was in episode 1. Um, then I was thrown in jail while trying to resist when Aghanim seized control of the castle. Chris, you must now travel to Mount Terror. Aghanim went there to look for Zelda. You must first free Sahasala before the sorcerer manages to get the information he needs. Please take this, my little contribution to your quest. You found the large quiver. It can hold up to 30 errors instead of 10. This will be re very useful. Okay, nice. Dungeon 6 finished. Dungeon 6 finished. And you have much, many things to do. Uh, thanks to your new ability to lift black rocks. Like visiting those caves. But we will see this in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.